plan for the next mission. Coming to my house? went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. They've been protecting this ship with their most advanced technology. So it's safe to assume whatever they've gotten there is crucial to their invasion effort. We should expect heavy resistance. They're not going to make this easy on us. Let's take them out! There's the heavy floaters. Hey, stupid. They're shifting their attack. Welcome to the winning team. I love floaters. That's what I want. Throw grenades at them! Good job, Timmy! Make me you make me so proud. Come on, not Timmy. Got an arm too. There's ten free damage.
A free 10 damage sure as hell didn't hurt. That's two groups down. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Two Muton elites, two more floaters, and the ethereal. That would do it. Son of a bitch. I'm beginning to think my supports have too many abilities. Specifically to hide this ship, we can only assume it is carrying something extremely valuable. Or very dangerous. Oh no! Not my floater! You monsters! You brutes! my target.
we'll just suppress him. That's ultimately the easier solution. So I still, there's either two more heavy mutons or two heavy floaters left. Pitbull, bodyguard duty. They're trying to pull back. Bastard. I really hate it when they do that. See, last time they didn't do that. Come here, you delectable little muppet, you. Me, so cute. They are precious when they're sleeping. You are superfluous now. We finally figured out a way to make Desperado worth... Oh, God, that didn't take up any of his movements. That's amazing. chill out there for a bit. Come on up in here. Actually, come on over here and we'll have Shabady heal you. Because he's a cool dude like that. He might be able to fully heal him. It's going to be close. Ten hit points. Damn. You'll be fine. Yeah, that's not bad at all. <laughs> this is a different layout. It is very satisfying watching the squad become as powerful as they have been. These guys are crazy strong now. I don't want to trigger what's ever... Oh, no. I don't know how I'm going to get in there. guys in here.
Okay. Gonna get messy. Dealing with a heavy mind controller. Exercise. No retreat, no surrender. <sighs> yeah, we know you're in there. There's something out there. We know you're in there. Commander, that device, it seems to be of great importance to them. Retrieving it for further study should be our highest priority. Mm -hmm. Acto, where are you? Send in a droid. So you say we shouldn't launch a missile in here. Sweeping. This is unlike anything else we've mm, previously identified. Utah. Based on its physical appearance, I would assume this alien doesn't rely on brute strength. I recommend the troops exercise extreme caution, Commander. I think I liked it better when the weapons were obvious. <laughs> oh well, it's worth a shot. Insight. Oh, he looks different. Oh, you gave me a flank shot, but he's still hard to hit. Oh, now he doesn't have any damn cover. Deal with it. Yes. Screw it. Mind controlling. You gotta have that mind control. It's gonna save your soul. It is so hard to find good help these days, isn't it, Mr. Ethereal? Well, that makes life easy. Problem is, you can't shoot your own mind control guys. So we will have to deal with those assholes at some point. Hyper locked on. Oh, yeah. Juicing up. Max, I want you to get in there and shoot the ethereal in the face. What's he gonna do? Something terrible to the muton, and he missed. Okay, then. Marino? Get him. Chopper. Sick balls. Please don't kill him. Not yet, anyway. 10 damage, 10%. Only a 10% critical. He's tough. I just had a wacky idea. Hug party in the corner. Hugs. Actually, if I did, no. Because if I do five, then I'll have trouble. Oh no, not friendly fire. Anything but that. Hugs! <laughs> oh god, that's still funny. Okay, Bob, no. Uh, you might work. Actually, you probably can't kill him with your pistol. 
you're gonna hurt him really bad, but I don't think you can kill him. to have a word with you, son. Have you accepted Bonsai as your captor? <laughs> Hug party! Hug party! Whee! <laughs> Pretty! <laughs> Here, guys. Don't... Don't let me miss out on all the fun. Throwing grenade. And that's why we keep grenades. Excellent work. All objectives complete. And hell's coming with me. That one. Successfully assault the overseer. Can we have applause? No? Oh, you're no fun game. standing around. Shouldn't we have, like, soldiers and stuff? Oh, because... We've captured the great purple doodad of Mythos. Recovered from a cloaked ship and guarded by the most powerful being we've ever encountered. What do you think it is? It's obviously An their television. Of immense power. Think of all we could do if we unlocked its secrets. So we're taking bets which scientist is going to go crazy and turn on us. Doctor. Is it going to be Valen or is it going to be Shen? Scientists are usually crazy. Sir, I'm picking something up. Mm -hmm. Battleship. Another cloaked ship? No, sir. It's big. Yeah. I don't think we're shooting that down. It's the size of a country. Tell me that was a coincidence. Wish I could, sir. That seismic event originated directly beneath our new contact. And we Nothing felt it we in had Asia. would even make a dent in that thing. If you two have any more bright ideas, now's the time. Well, obviously the big blue thing is another key. the ethereal device. Oh. He got promoted to colonel, finally. Your men certainly seem to have a knack for capturing alien subjects alive. I only hope they realize how important their work is in relation to ours. Please, pass on my gratitude to our forces. We're coming down to the wire here. Now that we've backed the aliens into a corner, I think we'll see what they're really made of. Personally, I expect nothing short of pure desperation in their resistance. They've invested too much to go down without a fight. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Find out what it knows.
weapons tech research thingy. Which would be more important if I didn't know everything. We know this captive is harboring an incredible pool of psionic energy. A fact is not quite lost on our staff, who are quite concerned about working in close proximity to the creature. But we must interrogate it. This creature, clearly a member of the leadership case responsible for the invasion, presented us with an extremely risky and difficult interrogation prospect. Despite our previous experience in safeguarding the facility from the potential effects of the abilities exhibited by the psionic aliens, this captive's power exceeded the previously established limits of our testing. Much of the information we were able to discern from the creature was cryptic at best, as it made every effort to resist even our most invasive procedures during the interrogation. However, the experimental imaging equipment we had been using to monitor the alien's brain activity did reveal a very unusual pattern of neural activity that we believe is closely tied to the creature's power. We should be able to use this for anything else we haven't already researched, but oh right, we have researched everything. This specimen appears to be at the top of the alien hierarchy, and for good reason. As you've probably seen, its physical form is not suited for combat by any means. However, these elders have an incredible pool of psionic energy at their disposal, which helps to explain why the other species are subordinate to them. Yep, and we got the achievement all employees must wash hands before returning to work. Oh, mind shield. We have discovered similarities to the ethereal and the sectoid. Both show the same enhanced synaptic connections, confirming our suspicion that this is the likely source of the power. The ethereals appear to have an incredible pool of psionic energy, more than anything we've previously encountered, which helps to explain why other species are subordinate. Uh, and we can learn about them now. And we can do the mind shield. Developed using cybernetic implants we removed from the skull of an ethereal alien, this device should allow for greater resistance to offensive psi. Hasn't been an issue. I accept the fact that there could be risks involved in studying this new alien device, but the enemy leaves us with no other choice. Look at the base. There's our satellite stuff. Barracks. There's the hyperwave. There's stuff. Labs, I think. workshops, there's the Illyrium generator and the thermo generator. Cool, where's the Scilab at? Oh, there it is. Okay, do I have all the soldiers yet? Yes, we do. I have to go through that at some point. God, there's a lot of them. But let me see what happens here. Quest from France for heavy plasma. Yeah, right. Okay, the ethereal device. Gollop chamber. Having learned a great deal about the hyperwave beacon and its associated interdimensional signaling capabilities, we believe this newly recovered device confirms our suspicions about this technology and takes it a step forward. The Psylink, as it is now being called, appears to provide a direct link to the psionic network used by the aliens for field communication. Although we are treading into the area of highly theoretical science, we believe there is a strong indication that the aliens function under collective consciousness. A form of social organization akin to a hive mind is seen in various species of insects found on Earth. It wasn't until our first interaction with the ethereal species of the alien that we were further able to understand the scope of psionic abilities we'd been previously exposed to. Uh huh, we'll need to construct a chamber. Uh huh. So we're gonna make. Oh, okay, so we we have to have a psyker too, apparently. 
Once we build this facility, a psionically powerful soldier will be able to access the ethereal psychic net. Well, we know who that is. Psy armor. Neat. Commander, you should take a look at this. We've just detected a massive new contact. We're picking up an enormous power signature. Whatever it is, it must be fully loaded. We should expect heavy resistance. Jets and noises. Engaging bogey. Oh, he's not so tough. Nearing strike range. Two shots. That's a big goddamn ship. 23 ethereals, mutons. Woo! No sectopods. No cyber discs either. Lots of mutons, lots of chrysalids. Uh, somehow I think I can handle that. I'm not sending rookies on a battleship mission. Sorry, guys. Well, and. Bright side, we don't need arc throwers anymore. Continental United States. It looks like the aliens went down oh, in a sparsely populated sick. area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. bigger than anything we've seen so far. Considering the impact, the ship seems to be in relatively good shape. We don't know what to expect in there, but you should make your way to the craft's bridge as quickly as possible. Yeah, it's gonna be like the alien base. Okay, but I'm gonna take a quick break before we get to this hellish, hellish looking mission, and I shall return. Until then.